Hi everyone, in the previous video I show you how to get started with Beamer and how to create this very simple presentation and uh, how to create the title page, table of content and background. And if you remember and if you saw the previous video, if you haven't seen it, just look in uh, my YouTube account and uh, you should find a playlist about the Beamer course and you should find the link in the description below. So, as you can see, the first presentation that we created is probably not very beautiful. So you will want to change that. So how can you change that? How can you change the look of the presentation? So if you want to change the look of the presentation, you can just simply add a theme to the, uh, to the presentation. Okay? So there are a lot of themes, uh, and actually later on I will show you how to get uh, very beautiful themes as well, uh, and how to get started with them in Overleaf is just going to be a couple of clicks. But uh, these are some of the themes that you can use, uh, and there are more than this one. So for instance, uh, you can just do a Google search uh, and say Beamer Team Gallery or Beamer Team, and it will be, so let me, Beamer team and uh, yes you will find a lot of uh, a lot of different teams uh, here so this is the same page that i went before but there are more than this one so if you want to add a team it's super simple you just go back in, uh, into our uh, file here and we just add a new uh, command so we say use use team okay so we just say use team and for instance, we can use the team which is called Madrid, okay? We just compile our document and as you can see, the presentation completely changes because we, have applied, we are applying this theme to our presentation. So now by default, the title has this blue color and the name has changed. At the bottom here, you can see that there is a new tab, which is showing the page number, which is showing the year, the name of the presenter, so name and surname, and their institutions, and so forth. Okay? So this is much better than the previous team that we were using before. And if you don't like this team, well, you can always change, change and you can use another team. So for instance, the default, of course, is going to be the default one. But uh, this is the Madrid that we were using before, but uh, you can have uh, another, uh, another team. doesn't really matter. I just want to show you another one. So let, uh, let's just get one like uh, this one, the Bergen one. So we go back here and we can change our team, control, enter, and uh, the, our team is going to change completely and uh, is going to have a completely new look our presentation. I personally really like this theme here, which is called uh, uh, Metropolis. And I really like it because it's very simple uh, and it resembles more uh, um, like a PowerPoint presentation, but it's honestly up to you. You can choose whichever theme you want and I will show you later how to get uh, um, a lot of themes as well. So as you can see, this is how it's going to look our presentation. So this is the light theme of Metropolis and this is the dark theme. And uh, let's actually add that uh, to our uh, presentation, okay? So we can change uh, Metropolis, okay? So we just compile it again and we are going to have uh, our new theme. And I think it looks very nice. Uh, uh, nice and clean. Let's fix this thing with the university because we just want to have it consistent. So now university number two is going to be on the same line of the faculty. I personally think this team is very nice and it also shows you a progress bar. So how much have you covered already of the, of the presentation as you can see here in the methodology. But uh, it also, this one is also a little bit different because it also shows you the sections. As you as, you, uh, as I mentioned before, the behavior of the presentation is also a little bit of a function of the team that you choose. So let me revert back. And as you can see here, there are uh, the sections are actually not appearing on the presentation if you use the default team. But if you use the Metropolis team, that uh, the behavior slightly changes. And now you can see 
also the sections here on the slide deck. I just want to show, I want to actually change a little bit, uh, a couple of more things, and I want to show you how to convert the presentation in a different aspect ratio, because I think it's nice to have it in, uh, in a different aspect ratio. So in, right now it's in four third, and we want to change it to 16.9. And in order to do that, we just have to go in the document class here, add a set of parentheses, and then we can say aspect ratio, uh, just one word, equal to 16.9 with no semicolon in between. And we close the bracket here. We click on recompile or control enter. And now is in 16.9. So I think again is a much mod more modern look and uh, it starts looking much better, uh, at least in my opinion, the presentation. Another thing that I like to do is uh, to add uh, a progress bar. And as you can see, there is already like a progress bar in some slides, but uh, in uh, the Metropolis team, uh, we can change it. And uh, we can say here, so we can say progress bar equal to frame title. Okay, so as you can see here, before, I mean, this, the change is very subtle at the moment and it's probably not very easy to see, but before, uh, let me actually just comment the design. You can do that with control for the slash and let me take off uh, this uh, frame title, this progress bar. So now we have a progress bar under each frame title. That's what we have added. So as you can see here, there is no progress bar at the moment, but uh, if we revert it back and we add that uh, progress uh, bar, now you can see that as you go along with your presentation, not only you have the page number here at the bottom, but also you have a progress bar here under the title, which I think is very nice. Another thing that, uh, again, in my opinion is, uh, is nice uh, is to change the frame numbering. So right now you can get, you get just the, the, the slide number here, but what is more useful probably is to know which slides are you uh, as a fraction. So one out of, and then you want the total number of uh, uh, the, the slides. So you can change that by changing the, the, the set, setting the Beamer template. So we type set Beamer template. And uh, in this case, we want to add the frame numbering. So that's what we want to change. And we want to have that is a fraction, okay? So we're going to change that. And now this slide number is going to be one out of seven. Of course, I didn't know how many slides we had, but right now we know that we are in slide one out of seven, two out of seven. Keep in mind that this section slide will not be counted because they're just kind of uh, there to show you that you're changing section, which is very useful in a presentation, but is not really counted as uh, in the total count of slides because you're going to go through very quickly on those slides. Another thing that I like to change in the Metropolis template, and again, you can have a look at their documentation. And uh, as you can see, there is some information here on how to change it. But another thing that I like to change is to set in the Metro template. So we can say Metro set, and we're going to change the background of the slide. So we're going to change the background uh, to the full team, we're going to change it to dark. And uh, if there is, if it's not misspelled, as you can see, the look of the slide is going, the theme is going to slightly change. So now we have at the top here, the first slide is dark by default because we have changed the theme. Okay. So you can also change this line here. So if you don't like this orange, and that's what I, for instance, I like to do. Uh, I like to change this color of this bar here. So if you want to change the color of that bar, it's super simple. The first thing that you can do is either use a default color that is in Beamer, but uh, you can also define a color. So let's say, let's define a new color uh, and we call it, 
we can also call it as we want. We are going to call it primary color because it's going to be the primary color of our slide deck. And we are going to use RGB color. RGB color. And we are going to define a color. So you can select whichever color you want. And RGB color selector. If you go in Google, I'm sure you will find, uh, yes, you can find a color picker. So let's use this, uh, uh, actually this color is quite nice. This, uh, or we can select a nice uh, red here. So let's select uh, a red. We just have to copy the RGB and we can copy it inside here when we define the color. So now we have defined our red, which is our primary color, okay? So we need to set a couple of other things. So we're going to set the beamer color. Uh, beamer color. So as before, we select, we change the beamer template. Now we're going to change the beamer color. And uh, we are going to say that the palette, the primary palette, we're going to change it and uh, we actually want to remove that dark so if you like the dark color by default uh, it's fine otherwise uh, you can uh, you can change that and i just want to show you all the things that you can play with so it's going to be like uh, easier for you to just change uh, uh, the presentation the look of the presentation so we're going to set the background as white and the foreground color as black as you can see, you can either use the default color of, uh, uh, you, can, you can actually use the default color of, uh, B, of um, which are already inside the LaTeX, or you can specify your, uh, your colors. And uh, let me actually just copy a couple of uh, comments here. So we are going to, we are going to change uh, the color of the text. Actually, this command here was not was not needed. So we are going to change the color of the text to black, and uh, we are going to change the color of the progress bar, and uh, we are going to call it, uh, and we are going to change that color too. So let's compile it again and see what's going on. Of course, because uh, uh, actually, sorry, let me actually primary. Okay, so actually this comment was needed. Sorry, I my my error, my mistake. So we have changed the background. So now we want to have a white background. We have changed the color of the progress bar and uh, we are using uh, our primary color that we have defined up here. Of course, if we change this color, so let me change this color to uh, a dark gray, for instance, and you're going to see that this progress bar is going to change to a dark gray, but let's keep it red for the moment. We have changed the background, so now all the background of the slide is uh, white, and the foreground is back is black we have changed the color of the text to black and of course i guess if you just change it to red you will see that all the text is now in red but we don't want to do that so this is how i like the style of my slide and uh, of course uh, you can uh, always play around with it with it and you can change it uh, as you like it so you can change the aspect ratio, the colors, the theme. If you don't like Metropolis, you can use another one. And this is actually what I want to show you right now at the end of this video. I just want to show you a lot of beautiful themes that you can use uh, by just clicking on just with a couple of clicks. So if you go back to your uh, Overleaf account and you click here, on, uh, you are in the main page. So if you click here on new project, as you remember before, we selected a blank project and we had to write all our code. And keep in mind that I will upload all the code that I've just changed right now on GitHub and I will add it to the link in the description. 
but you can start actually with another template and we can start with a template with a presentation so if you click here new project presentation okay now you can actually see that you have a lot of beautiful templates that you can get straight out from the box so i'm not going to spend too much time right now and look for a nice template because it's based on your preferences and uh, your liking as well but uh, let me select just a simple team uh, and i just want to show you how to get started so we're going to select this one here so first you can download the pdf and you can see how it looks if you like it because i mean here you can only see the main page so let me just open this one this one let's say that looks nice we like it so it's actually very nice because as you can see you are going to have a lot of slides here that you can play with them and you have a lot of things that are already implemented so let me just go back here so if you like this theme you can actually say either view the source code and copy it in your project or you can say open as a template you open it as a template and now you have it in your Beamer. So you have a new project. And as you can see here, there are all the information that all the files that you need. So they have all their, uh, the team colors. So as you can see here, as we did before, they define the colors. And these are the colors that they use in their presentation. And uh, the main file is always the main file, which is going to generate your uh, Beamer presentation and they have the images which are included here in the presentation so as you can see here we get straight out of the box uh, we get a very nice uh, uh, presentation if you like to use this template and uh, if you don't like to just uh, change it yourself so finally i just want to show you that as we changed before uh, the text uh, here in the in the source code uh, you can also change it and see the the changes reflected in the final presentation so you just have to find the, the, the section of the slide that you need to change. So for instance, you go to the title that we saw before, and you can say my presentation, and then you compile it again, and you will see that this is going to be reflected here in the, okay, it just takes a little bit of time, but now we have my presentation here. And again, as we did before, once we are done changing our presentation, we can click on download PDF here, and, here we are, we have our PDF on our computer and you can just scroll through the PDF and see all the things. In the next video, I'm going to cover other topics like, such as uh, effects, as you can see in this slide here, or footer, how to add citation and so on. So please like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video and uh, check in the um, comments, like in the, in the text below in the formation about the video below and I've uh, added the 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 repository code that I've used in this uh, in this video thank you very much for listening